Hey beauties, welcome back to Blush Up with Stephanie. Today I'm gonna to show you eight different products that you can find in your kitchen and also use as a part of your beauty routine. I love beets in my salad and I love it even more that I get to use it as a lip and cheek stain. Taking beet powder and a little bit of facial moisturizer, I easily create a natural blush. Honey is an amazing product that can be used in many kinds of facials and masks, but did you know that you can use it to lighten your hair? Mix equal parts honey and water and squeeze in a whole lemon. This also works as a natural hairspray. Raw milk is a great cleanser and moisturizer, and it can be combined with other natural ingredients for some really moisturizing facials. But go ahead and try it out as a simple cleanser. Turmeric facials have been used for centuries to help brighten and even out skin tones. Mix a teaspoon of each turmeric, honey, and yogurt, and leave the facial on for 10 to 15 minutes for beautiful, radiant skin. Oats are great for the body and great for the skin. Oatmeal helps soothe irritated skin, which is great for dry skin, itchy skin, and it's really great for treating acne. Apple cider vinegar is a staple in my household. I use it as a natural shampoo and scalp cleanser, and finally, as a facial toner. Chocolate, yep, that's right, chocolate. Raw cacao powder is loaded in antioxidants and makes for fun and great facials. Mix a half a cup of cacao powder, one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and a few drops of tea tree oil for a minty finish. Add water until the consistency is a creamy thick paste. And finally, strawberries. Not only are they good with cream, but they're an amazing fruit to add to your beauty routine. They can be used as an ingredient in DIY facials and even a teeth whitening paste. For a yummy and easy facial scrub that fights acne, mash five to six strawberries, add in a tablespoon of honey, and a tablespoon of brown sugar. And not only does the scrub leave your skin radiant and soft, it's pretty tasty. Isn't it pretty crazy that everything on our face right now we can actually eat? I know. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more tips, hacks, and tutorials. Until next time, bye.